Hey campers, uh, this vid's about Cibola National Wildlife Refuge, uh, just south of Ehrenberg, Arizona and Blythe, California. This is about the north end and hopefully I'll give you some tips on how to get there the easiest way. MapQuest took me all over the place um, and down some dirt roads, so hopefully this will give you a good idea about the area and if you want to come down um, it's an easy jaunt down and uh, pretty pretty nice even if it was evening I think you'd find it fine alright enjoy on Interstate 10 just west of Blythe California you'll take exit 236 towards Highway 78 you'll go south here otherwise known as Neighbors Boulevard so down 78, you'll come to the Palo Verde Brawley sign going right. And it's our first stop sign that we hit. And it says go right for 78, but we're going to go straight here. So once you come to the Imperial County Line sign, the road is going to get a little bumpy but not bad, or about a mile and four tenths or so. So I don't think it's going to uh, get worse, it's gonna get better, and it's not too bad. So I got some information on freecampsites.net uh, regarding a camp area here on County Line Road if we were to take a left here, or 38th Avenue. Uh, called Miller Park and it gives some information but I went ahead and drove down this road even though there was a no trespassing sign I drove all the way down at the end there's a little little tiny place there's one old camper that looks like it's been there for a while uh, it is occupied I took the left nothing down there not a good area most of the road in is really good there's this one section must be like between counties or maybe it's on the Indian Res, I'm not quite sure, but it's uh, not maintained as good. A little rough, but not bad. I'll give you the total distance of this section, so in a little bit. So you'll hit uh, the Cibola Bridge which is a uh, narrow bridge and you want to keep on going straight from there but as a side note there is a uh, La Paz County Park boat ramp area just to your left as you cross the bridge so if you have a boat you can come down here and put it in pretty close for about uh, 3.4 miles or so to the Cibola National Wildlife Refuge. Another side note, if you take this left and you go down about uh, two or three miles, it's a dirt road. Once you cross the cattle guard, then it's uh, BLM dispersed camping. There's quite a few spots. Uh, be careful of some of the washes if it's been raining. They dip down as they go into the uh, Colorado River. So you'll come to a stop sign. Uh, you'll see the uh, Cibola transfer on the left. Baseline road would be a right turn but we want to go straight for one more mile and we'll reach the uh, Cibola National Wildlife Refuge and the dispersed camping area. You'll also see the sign it says Miller's Hacienda. So a good landmark. So you'll come to the Cibola National Wildlife Refuge. 
on the right and directly across the street there's the cattle guard and take that left and go up into the uh, dispersed area. So we're at Cibola National Wildlife Dispersed Camping which is right across the street from the wildlife office. And I get uh, two bar LTE Verizon here. I think that's Miller Park. Um, off to the distance there, to the north. And there's uh, quite a few spaces. As you can see, it's the typical BLM open dispersed area. I haven't tried the digital TV yet, but uh, we're pretty open and just due north of us is Blythe. So I'll uh, let you know on that later. So this is what it looks like from the uh, freeway down to the BLM dispersed area across the street from Cibola National Wildlife Refuge. And as you can see, it's pretty straight. There's just a very short section of uh, rough paved road. Other than that, it's all paved. So uh, next up, I'll show you a couple places along the river to camp uh, within the refuge. One free and one uh, fee based. And they're very close and on the same route. Here's the quick view of how to get to Oxbow Lake uh, Campground and the uh, free area um, on the river. We're at Cibola BLM right now, so we're going to go back to that uh, stop sign at Miller Outpost or Miller Hacienda, and we're going to take a left. Go down Baseline Road and hit Levy Road. There we go. So when you come to the stop sign, uh, the Cibola transfer site's on your left, you'll want to take a right and go all the way down to the end. So you'll come to a stop sign and Levy Road, and you want to take a right here. There is a road on down left, but there's no camping on that road. So this takes us right to the free camping area. Right on the right here. And if we just continue on down this road, go across the bridge and to the left, and you'll be in the fee area. So it appears that they're getting ready to maybe make this a fee area in the future. There's restrooms here and there's work on some picnic tables. But that's what you expect for the uh, free areas. Kind of don't get the best of everything. But if you go on down here and go across the bridge, like I said, you'll get to the fee area. And I'll have a video of that shortly. So this is the uh, free area camping as a Bola National Wildlife Refuge near Ospo Lake. So there's not much here except for it is clear and you can find a spot to camp. It looks like they're getting some picnic tables ready, maybe for some future stuff. beach here. Sorry about the wind. So you have access to uh, both of these little spots here for putting kayaks in anyway. That's what I was looking for. have to 
cut some of this out because of the wind noise. I'll overdub it if I have to. That certainly could drive up pretty close here if you had a small boat or kayaks. And get access right to the river. We are in Arizona still. It might appear that we're in uh, California on the map. But I just talked to uh, one of the employees and followed the line follows the um, old channel he said so we're still in Arizona but yeah good access for kayaks so that's it so this is the Oxbow Lake um, Cibola National Wildlife campground. This is a fee area. And you have access to the river. It's $15 a night or $7.50 if you have the senior pass. So we'll uh, show you how to get here. All paved road. Versus going down 78 and following some of those instructions, you go down some long dirt roads. So you don't need to do that. You can go all paved road to get in. And again, it is a first come, first serve. Here's all the GPS settings for the locations that we've discussed on one page. So you could enter them into uh, Google Maps if you wish. So we'll get them all up there and then you can just pause and uh, write these down if you uh, are so inclined to look around the area. Enjoy.